Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. This is Cold Augit here, aka the Suburban Ginger, and I'm ready to jump right into continued round two coverage of the Lighthouse Open at Royal Ethelwind. As you can see, the Suburban Ginger sits at 11 under and 2 under through his uh, front nine, which puts him in a tie for fourth and three shots back of the leader, Michael Glickic of Canada. But before we jump in, if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You'll see my logo there in the corner over there. Make sure you leave your thumbs up. Show me the likes on the video. Be much appreciated. Let's see if we can beat five likes on this video. That's what I'm going for. And of course, post your comments down below and you can interact with me at all the social media places at Suburban Ginger, which you can see right down there. I'm not very good at pointing. Okay, let's jump in as the Suburban Ginger starts the back nine. And now teeing off on the par five. Par 5, 10th hole, could take advantage here today, playing 523 yards. All good electing to go with a driver. And some serious power involved in uh, a drive like this. They have overhit it, though. Going toward that right-hand fairway bunker. And it has wound up in the rough. Well, that takes going for the green out of the question. Augur just going to have to hack it out of here with a mid-iron and put his third shot close. Hits it way in the air. And back into the bunker. Oh, goodness. Yeah, Unforced that's error. Unfortunate. That's got to be a mistake. Definite mistake there. Now Augur having to lay up again. Going with Wedge. That one comes out much better. Back in the fairway with not a whole lot of distance and from about 120 yards out. Yeah, he's really had to grind so far today. Not his, uh, not A plus golf from him, but still not terrible. We're trying to hit it close here with the gap wedge. He's pulled that a bit. He's made a mess of this hole. Well, that was an unfortunate approach. And that's to be expected, unfortunately, in a wind like this. Very nice chip up. Looks like he's going to escape with a bogey. This one's about two feet from the cup. There we go. And after that hole, one under for the day. And he is currently tied for fifth place on the leaderboard. Yeah, no doubt unhappy with that. Uh, par fives here can be taken advantage of, but to make a bogey is really... Okay, now moving on to the 11th. It's an unforced error is what it is. Another picturesque par three here at Royal Ethelwind and pin in a very accessible location. Just all about playing the wind right here. All good going with seven iron. Well, this might be a bit too much club. He's hit a bullet right at it. Ooh. Oh, it hit the stick! A really nice accurate shot Ooh. from the fairway. And then he'll be happy with that. That probably saved him from going in the back bunker there. A little bit of luck. And nothing wrong with that shot. I could probably think about going for this one here. Trying to chip it in. Oh, and he just missed it. And this to save the par. Finishing this hole with a solid par. So a little bit of luck there, and all that escapes with a three. And after that hole, he will stay right where he is on the leaderboard. Currently the three-way tie for fifth with Capellan of Denmark and Timothy Manigan of the United States. And now we find ourselves in the 12th. 12th, very nice, par four. Mid lane, playing 449 yards today, but pretty easy driving hole, all good going with the big stick. Oh. 
That was not the big stick. That was a three wood. <laughs> From here, 190 yards to the pin. So after mistakenly laying up, all good has uh, about a 190 yard shot into this pin. Again, plenty of green to work with, pretty accessible location. All good electing to go with a six iron. And here's the six iron. See if the wind carries it far enough. Oh, fantastic shot. And this putt is for birdie. Yeah, using the uh, contours of the course to his advantage. Eight footer for birdie. Oh, mm, just just another, inches away. Another short putt goes by. And about six feet away. Just uh, not reading the greens as well as he normally does there, John. And that one drops for par. And after that one, he's uh, unfortunately going to be moving down in the standings. So he's moving down the leaderboard, tied for six, but still only four shots back of the leader. And now the 13th hole. All right, all good here on the par three. 13th. Again, looking to hit it close. Going with pitch and wedge. Here is the pitching wedge. And this one's looking pretty good. Yeah, great shot, staying aggressive. All right, he's on the green now. And this putt's for birdie. Well, his, uh, his irons have come to play. It's the flat stick that's been letting him down. Well, that one's in the heart. And that one will drop. Yeah, that good putt. And after that one, two under for the day. And he's currently tied for fourth up on the leaderboard. He's grinding. He's grinding. And teeing off on this par four. Big waist area down the left-hand side on hole number 14. Decent size par four, especially into the wind today. All good going with driver. This one's looking pretty good so far. Nice. From 200 yards away. All right, all good having to club up to a hybrid here. Try to cr hit it high in the wind and land it as soft as you can. I think that's the hybrid. It's on a very good and line. I think this shot might, uh, might have a bit too much club. Yeah, just kind of in between mm. clubs here. Unfortunately, that's just uh, poor luck on that approach. Bit too much club on that. I'll go try to hit it close here, nip it, spin it, and he does not <laughs> hit it thin. Shooter can't believe it. And this putt is needed to save par. Twenty-seven footer. Left to right, he's studying it here. Downhill for Paul. Maybe. Yes, sir! Right. My goodness, that was some putt. What a save. And currently sitting at two under for the day. And he's also tied for fifth up on the leaderboard. That's what keeps him in tournaments like this, John. He just has to make those must-make putts, and he converts almost every time. And now teeing off on this par four. Now he's got a short par four here that he certainly can take advantage of. Just sticking with the iron off the tee. Well, so far so good for this one. It's a popular spot today. Okay, and about 100. 45 yards left. The small green here on hole number 15, and with the cross breeze, it's probably playing even smaller. 
All good going with nine iron. Try to work it in from the left. He has not he shied away from iron. going at the pins today. This one on a good line as well. Very nice. And I think he will be pleased with that. From here, it's about 11 feet to the cup. He has not made any of these short birdie putts today. Let's see if he can convert this one here. Just 11 feet, but tricky downhiller from right to left. Another That's one. well done. Birdie. That's well done. And after that one, three under for the day. And he's currently tied for fourth place on the leaderboard. So in a tie for fourth, right behind the three-way tie for first with Detri, Madigan, and Gligic all at 13 under. And Gligic still has 18 to play. And now setting up on the 16th tee. With a mid-length par four here at Royal Ethel Wind, all good with driver off the tee. It's looking like this is bound for the short stuff. Big drive there. 290, 291, 292. Solid. And from 155 yards out. Okay, this pin also in a pretty accessible spot. Not too many tucked pins on the course today. All good electing to go with 8 iron. Going with the eight iron. This one on a good line. That's a fantastic shot. All right, and he's on the green now. And this putt's for birdie. Let's see if he can go back to back here and tie for the lead as Glickich comes down the 18th. 11 feet for birdie. There it is. And with that, he will move into a tie for first. There it is, folks. Now a four-way tie at the top. Allgood has joined Gligic, Detri, and Madigan. All three of them in the clubhouse. But Allgood still has two holes to play. Okay, and setting up on the 17th tee. Now, a very interesting par four, 17th. Allgood letting it all hang out. He's got driver. He's going for the green. Will it clear the bunkers? Oh, what a bounce! He's on! <laughs> what a great effort. Just runs across, gonna be in the first cut there on the left, a great shot. I'll go try to chip downhill and get it close. <clears throat> and that one comes out short. Woefully short from 18 feet away. 18 feet to take sole possession of the lead. Oh my goodness, just missed. And this putts for par. And still tied for first place after that. Shaping up to be a great weekend here at the Lighthouse Open with these four stellar players all vying for the top spot. And now teeing up for the final hole of the round. Now the 18th is the hardest hole on the course here, par four. Thin, thin fairway. Playing 418 yards into the wind, all good with driver. Still full of confidence here. Well, this one's looking like it's in the fairway. And why not when you hit it like that? Not the longest, but one of the most accurate off the tee. From 145 yards out. Pin here in the front. In relatively flat position. All good electing to go with 8 iron. Hit it high and stop it close. And here's an eight iron. It's 
one's looking pretty good. It's on a great line. Another fantastic shot from all good. The so dialed in today. Now, in about six feet to go here. Try to finish with a birdie and go into the weekend with a one-shot lead. And that one drops for the birdie. And as this one uh, comes to an end, second round, and he's in first place. Luke, your thoughts? It's a very solid showing of the opening 36 holes. To build up any lead is great, but we all know that one shot is nothing with 36 holes left to play. It's true. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure to bring the coverage to you today, but make sure you tune in tomorrow. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back very soon for the third round of the Lighthouse Open. As you can see, Colt Allgood sits at 14 under after putting together a 5 under par second round, which gives him a one-shot lead over a three-way tie for second between Michael Gligich of Canada, Thomas Detry of the United States, and Timothy Madigan. I'm sorry, Thomas Detry of Belgium and Timothy Madigan of the United States. So, plenty of action, stacked leaderboard, 36 holes to go, and if all good wins, he's automatically promoted to the PGA Tour. The excitement is building, folks, but you're going to have to check back in next time. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe so you know when the third round is coming. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. We want five likes on this video, please. That would be that would be very nice. And post your comments down below so I can interact with you. And follow me on social media at Suburban Ginger. I can interact with you that way as well. Uh, but I'm going to head off, and I'll be back soon. And hopefully you guys will too. But until then, just keep swinging. <laughs>